Okay, so <coughs> technology nowadays basically runs the world. We're recording on technology, we are recording technology, we are presenting on technology. Now, it changes so much, it changes yearly, that we know how to keep up with it because we are use it daily, but senior citizens don't usually use it daily, so they always fall behind, and that's our problem. Um, so, what we're trying to do is we're trying to help people who didn't grow up with as much technology as they did when they were younger because um, a lot of times you see older people, elderly, they're clueless with all this kind of stuff and they don't know, they don't know what they're doing at all and yeah, they're sometimes even too stubborn to try and learn it because they think the old ways are better. So our solution is that we are going to make a website that will have step-by-step -step instructions on how to use technology and how to get better with it. So our key items are, well, we need a website design, so we're going to use Wix.com, and I already have that going. And then we need to use all the types of technology, so phones, computers, I've heard some smart TVs maybe could be useful, and that's about it. So yeah, Brock is um, Brock is basically the leader. Um, he's good with computers and stuff like that. Um, he has a lot of free time too, and he's usually pretty focused. Um, I am just a hard worker, and um, I also came up with the idea. Yes, yeah, he so, did. Yeah. Correct. Okay, so this is this is kind of what it will look like, just not in like step by step form, because it'll all obvious, obviously be like an article or a page. So you can see pretty self explanatory, big letters, pictures, all that kind of stuff, step by step. <coughs> and then it'll, it'll explain some of the more kind of advanced features, so like. If you send a text, what would you get in return to notify you that someone texted you back? And then some more of the basic uh, phone navigation, like how if you have that little red circle, it's, that means someone has either texted you or you haven't seen it yet. Um, so <laughs> most of our feedback was pretty positive about our idea. Um, people did mention that we should use big letters because sometimes elderly people aren't able to read as well as they could when they were younger, so big letters would help them. Um, also, we're gonna try and keep it simple, not try and confuse anyone too much. Uh, just basics of technology, all that, and it's, we're just gonna teach them about communication and stuff like that. So we did do a little poll on Instagram, but the thing was with that, that to really explain the whole premise of our idea, it probably would have been a good three posts worth of read this and then wait and can. Uh, no one wants to do that, and no one wants to read it. Yeah. So our probably our biggest change we've made since starting the idea and now is that we've gone away from an app and we're gonna make it a website for basically for two main reasons. An app is a lot easier to make and a lot more people know how to use websites because the internet has been up. You said an app's easier to make. Oh, a website's easier to make, I'm sorry. So, and then a lot more people have been using websites more than like smartphones apps because the internet has been here, here longer. And it's the fact that to actually put it on an app store, even if it's just like a Google Play, it costs a good chunk of money. So, yeah. <clears throat> and then our next step would actually be having it on a website where you can go, and then if you look up your device, you figure out your problem, then it'll give you a, something to read or a video to watch. That's it. Any questions? Questions?